Hey everybody, Mr. Barker here, and I want to walk you all through how to do this doodle summary activity for Through the Tunnel. So this is something that you should approach kind of just like a fun assignment, okay? It gives you a chance to be artsy-fartsy, gives you a chance to be creative, while also giving you a chance to show me what you know about how to summarize a story using the somebody wanted but so then method. All right, so we've talked about, or we should have already talked about before I released you to do this assignment, uh, how to come up with the somebody wanted but so then, the various aspects of a story summary. Okay, so not only are you going to be writing those out in this assignment, but you're also going to be attaching some sort of image to go along with those aspects of the story. And there are going to be a variety of ways you can do that. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys the freedom to be creative with your approach. So you have the two Google Slides that look like this. Okay, let's work with the somebody. All right, so if you guys here in a second want to steal my explanation for this first one on your own, feel free, and that'll give you a free, a freebie. You'll get some points right out of the gate for getting a right answer. So the somebody, that is who is speaking and or who the main character focused on in the story is, okay? So with the story through the tunnel, there's only really one character that the whole story is focused around, and that's Jerry. So in your response, remember, you're always going to want to CSRQ everything. We look at the question, who is speaking and or who is the main character. So we could just restate that question and start out by saying the main character in the story is, and then don't just say Jerry. I would like for you to be somewhat descriptive in your um, explanations for each aspect of the story. So let's tell a little bit about you know, Jerry and who he is, describe him a little bit, what he's doing. So we could say something like, the main character in the story is an 11-year-old um, boy named Jerry who is on vacation at the beach with his mother. Okay, so you're not just saying the main character is Jerry, you're being more descriptive, you're being more vivid, you're being more detailed while you're CSRQing. All right, so all of your responses in the explanation box should look a little something like that. Shouldn't be more than two sentences, but I do want you to be as descriptive as you possibly can, okay? Show me what you can do with that. So once again, if you want to steal this for yours, feel free. The main character in the story is an 11-year-old boy named Jerry who is on vacation at the beach with his mother. Now, the fun part of this assignment is what you're going to do in this box here, the box above. This is where you're going to attach an image of whatever it is you've just described. So we just described the main character, Jerry. So you need to figure out a way to attach some sort of image in that box that represents Jerry. And there's a variety of ways you can do that. If you want to get really crazy and really creative, you can use AutoDraw for this. But it's going to be a multi-step process, so let me show you how to do it. If you see here, I've made a somewhat, you know, haphazardly thrown together version of Jerry. And for some reason, my version of Jerry is like, he's super muscled up. I didn't intend to do that, but hey, it is what it is. So you come up with your image and uh, auto draw for what you think Jerry looks like. And you could even go as far as to create a background. You could create like an entire, like vivid painting of a scene if you wanted to. All right. But once you get what you want, off in the white space or off in just a blank space on the image, you're going to right click and you're going to go to copy image. Okay, so somewhere that it's blank, you don't want to click on one of your images because it's going to show up with that, or it's only going to copy that part of the image. If you want to capture the entire thing, you're going to click off into the blank space, copy image. Then you're going to go back to your slide, and you're going to click off in the blank space, and you're going to paste. Now, here's the issue. The image comes up massive, just like this. So let me show you how to crop this. So the only thing that shows up, the only thing that you move around is just the image itself. So while you have the image clicked, meaning there's the big blue outline around the whole thing, you're going to want to go up. Let me turn on my cursor so you can see. You're going to want to go up right here, okay, to where it says crop image. All right, and you're going to click on that. Let me go ahead and turn off my cursor. And then once you click crop image, a black box is going to come up around it. Okay, so you're going to hover over the black lines and you're going to drag that black box around just the part of the image that you want to keep. Okay, and so try to get, try to leave as little uh, blank space around your image as you possibly can. And then once you have it cropped, you have just the image cropped that you want to put into the box, you click off to the side and check that out. 
now the only thing that you move around is that small little tiny image that you just created. Then you can drag that over here. You can resize it to where it fits inside your box. And then boom, there's your image of Jerry. That's one way to approach this. Another way, if you want to, you know, if you don't want to mess with auto draw, is you can just simply use Google Images, okay? So I went to Google Images and I just searched boy swimming and I clicked the ocean because obviously Jerry swims in the ocean. So you go through, you find one that you like. This one looks pretty cool. You open it up, right click that image, copy, go back to your slideshow, right click off in the blank space, click paste, and then you're gonna drag that over here into the box obviously resizing it so it fits nice and neat okay don't have it like going over the edges at all if you if you can afford or if you can manage it all right so if that's the way you want to go about it that's fine with me okay either way you want to be super creative and make some awesome auto draw images that's cool if you want to you know take a little easier route and just do google uh, google images that's cool too all right so all that really matters to me is that you have a clear, descriptive, somewhat well-written explanation for each aspect of the story, the somebody. What did that somebody want? Meaning, what was Jerry's goal? What was he trying to achieve? The but, or the conflict, the obstacle in the story. So that's where you'll tell me what or who the problem or the obstacle was that he had to overcome. And then to wrap it up, you give me your so then. How was the conflict resolved? And then how did the story end? All right? That's what you're going to be telling me in these explanation boxes here. And like I said, for each one, you're going to attach some image that represents that. Okay? So if you have any questions about that, uh, please let me know. Email me. Or if we're still in the Google Meet, you can uh, just shoot me a message in there or just unmute yourself and holler at me. Otherwise, have fun with this. And let's move on to the next thing.